Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. Um, we're continuing to do the space assembly research, uh, which is going a little bit slowly. Although, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it uses two reds and two greens um, per one science pack three and production science pack. But that's okay because we built reds and greens at twice the output. <clears throat> so this is actually very well balanced with with our build. Um, but each cycle takes 120 seconds, so it's going to take a while. Um, but I think, let's look again. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think after this, I'm probably, uh, yeah. I think after this, I'm probably just going to stop doing any more research in the main base. And I'll just wait until we are building science packs outside of the main base, um, hopefully in larger quantities. Um, <clears throat> I've started to make some productivity modules over here. I just put in a requester chest and a provider chest, um, <clears throat> just so that we can start putting some productivity modules in the machines. Uh, now, eventually we're gonna wanna go up to level threes um, but the way that I usually like to do it is I'll build a bunch of level one modules. Uh, I'll put those in the machines and the, because the level threes can take a long time to make. Uh, and then as I get more and more level threes, I replace the ones with the threes and then, and then I, you, I take the ones that I already made and I feed them into the level three production. So they don't, they don't get wasted. Um, you just don't get nearly the bonus that you do with the level threes, but they're still helpful. So I'm just starting to stockpile some of those. Um, <clears throat> I also want to clean up a few things here in the main base before we get started on the other stuff. Uh, so one of the things I want to do is get rid of these belts that are carrying undergrounds and inserters and replace these with requester chests. So um, let's just go ahead and pick up these belts. And then once we've done these few things, we'll go back and uh, finish up our red circuits, which we started and got sidetracked with rebuilding our green circuit build. Why am I doing it this way? I've been playing a lot uh, recently on the multiplayer server, so um, I'm not used to having bots since we're still in the early stages at this point. Let's see, get rid of that. Okay. And then we've got a similar situation here with the yellows. And I mentioned it in the last episode as well, but uh, if you're interested in playing multiplayer Factorio, uh, with me at times and uh, with other members of the community. Um, please go to the Discord channel and you'll find information on how you can join the server. Okay. Yeah, and now I've got a ton of stuff that I need to get rid of. Uh, so let me, I'm going to, I'm going to leave an active provider chest here just for me to dump stuff when I need to. Okay, great. So now we will put requester chests in both of those places. Now in this one, I'm going to delete the mini loader because we're already getting it from here. <clears throat> and I just want to point out something when, and I do this in multiple places, uh, but you can see that I'm using a buffer chest here on the output of the yellow mini loaders. Um, and that's so I can stop production when I have a lot in inventory, even if it's not in this chest specifically. So I set this to have at least a hundred but I turn off production if I have more than 100. 
So that way, if I'm upgrading things and I have a ton of yellow mini loaders in storage chest someplace, I won't keep making more mini loaders until that quantity has gone down. But then by using the buffer chest, this chest will stay stocked um, and it'll pull from storage before it produces more. So, um, <clears throat> and I also want to set up the production of blue mini loaders. So let's get that set up. Um, and that means I should use another buffer chest. So let's use a buffer chest there. And again, I set the, I set the logistic request for essentially the same quantity. Whoops. 100 that I'm putting in. And then, yeah, we can actually share, we can actually share this chest. Well, what else do I need? Stack inserters and express undergrounds. So I'm already requesting stack inserters. Uh, we just need to add express undergrounds and I'll put in the same quantity that it already put in. Okay, and then I'm gonna need another provider chest for the output. All right, and we'll set that to turn off when we have 100. All right. All right, very good. So now we can start getting some of those and I'll add Yeah, I think 50 will be enough. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm requesting so many of these. 50. And then I'm going to get rid of these yellow ones. There we go. <coughs> okay. And then we need to extend our paving in the area. So let's grab some stone brick. Um... And one thing you, you can do when you're going to pave large areas is just shift click it and ghost it. And then that way the bots will take care of it for you. So if you're doing large areas, you can just ghost it out like this and then the bots will do it as they have time. Now I'm very terrible at getting nice straight lines with that method, but but it works. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. And then the other thing that I want to start making are beacons. So let's get that going. Uh, so for that, we need steel, copper cable, and red and green circuits. How much copper cable? 10. Okay. Yeah, that's not too much. So I'm going to make that long. And actually, let's make that yellow because this has a long cycle time, 15 seconds each. Yeah, and I think I'm going to start using... I'm going to start using more substations. In fact, I'm going to start using substations exclusively to power this area. <clears throat> um, now this one has a bit of a challenging placement, so. All right, so I'll just, let's say that, let's say that that's the last <clears throat> of the regular power poles. All right, so that's gonna be, <coughs> Pardon me, my uh, my throat is a little itchy today, so I apologize for all the coughing and scratchiness. 
Okay, so this is where I would want to have some yellow belts, which I'm no longer carrying with me. Uh, so let's get... Well, we'll just upgrade it to red. see we're gonna to need to do 40 every 15 seconds so yeah I think a fast inserter <clears throat> will be enough to take care of that and not slow it down at all all right and then we'll put that in a provider chest um, and if I remember correctly these stack in tens so I'm just gonna go ahead and let that chest fill up because eventually we're gonna be using quite a, quite a lot of those. All right, so you know what? Let's, um, let's take the opportunity. Red to blue, okay, I don't wanna do that. Oh no, I wanna do yellow to red. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to take the opportunity just to upgrade all of the belts in this area to red belts. Okay, and that's a bad idea because... Oh, crud. All right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um... The problem is that the upgrade planner, for some reason, can't upgrade undergrounds without picking everything up. All right, so let's um, let's not upgrade the underground belts, and I'll do those myself manually, and let's see how that works. Okay, that's better. All right, so we can do we can do this whole area. Now the belt's feeding in. I suppose we don't have to upgrade. Um, you know, if they're being fed in with yellow belts, we don't need to, we don't need to upgrade the rest to yellow or the feeder belts to yellow. <clears throat> that ought to be enough. Okay, good. Get rid of that stone. All right. So how many beacons do we have? Yeah, these stack in tens. So... I've got a few beacons, not too many, but we can start putting down some of them. And I told this to stop when we have a hundred, but actually, I think I'll just let it run. I mean, if I fill this chest up, I'm gonna use them all easily. I'll use them all. All right, so let me request some speed modules as well. And we'll do the same with the speed modules. You know, we'll, we'll upgrade them over time. But I just wanna do this so that we can uh, start putting in modules in the, in the red circuit build. One, two, three. Okay, so the other thing I wanna start making on MOS are the assembly machine threes. Um, let's check over here, but I, oh yeah, cool. I did leave myself room for that. Okay, so let's make another buffer chest. And we'll put that there. Okay, I haven't limited this one yet, so let's do so. 
So we're going to limit this to 100, I suppose. All right, and then we can remove the limitation there. And then we set the logistic request to the same quantity. Um, yeah, we've got 114 in the logistic network. And then we'll set this to make the assembly machine threes, uh, which also requires speed modules, which we are not making here, but we are making them, um, where are we making them? Over here? No, over here. We're making them here for the high-tech science packs. All right, and that's why we have them going into a requester chest so that we can pull those in when needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. I'm gonna remove the assembly machine from that request. Um, okay, now we already got some, but that's okay. All right, and then I'll put the output into this chest, which I also need to limit. Okay. And then this is going to be for those, and we'll limit that to I'll set that one to 200 because we're going to be using these in high quantities. And I'll put in a request for myself for those as well. I'm going to want to have 100 of those at all times. Um, and I think we can scale this back a little bit. need so many of those. Um, I also think I can scale back on RoboPorts a bit since we're not doing lots of big robot networks. Okay, so we've done a little bit of cleanup. Sorry to take so long with that, but I think it's important to get some of that stuff done. And I, like I said last time, I'm trying to do a little bit less offline work so that you guys can see more of what I'm doing and um, and more important hear the explanation for why I'm doing those things my machine is a little a little laggy today <clears throat> and I think that's I think it's due to some of the mods that I'm using all right so over here we need We've got all the input stations. We need to set up a, a station to receive the circuits themselves. Um, and then over here, I'll put in a passenger station. So let's go ahead and set that up now. I'm gonna go to map view so we can take a blueprint. All right, and I'm gonna get rid of everything except for the rail and the signals. All right, and that's gonna go right there. Yeah, this is really bad. And I think there's a way, I think there's a way that I can see <clears throat> what is essentially what is taking up the processing speed. Uh, I'm just looking to see there's something in the debug menu. I've seen it before. Is it 
active entities on chat now. That's not it. Time usage. I think that's the one. Yeah, so if we look at, we can see mods. So we can see the bottleneck. Bottleneck and Nixie tubes seem to be using a lot of resource. Script update, I don't know what that is. And let's look at FPS. Okay, well I'm at 60 at 60 until I zoom out. And then it just tanks big time. Hmm. Well, I don't know. If anyone has suggestions for what I can do to improve my zoomed out performance, I would appreciate it. Okay, so we got that research done. So let's just, we're gonna call it quits for research for now. Um, I'm gonna put a regular train stop down here and we're gonna call this Red Circuits PAX. And I will bring my train here. Circuit condition. Now the other thing I can check is to see if I've got a backup running or something like that. I'm also, I'm uploading an episode right now, but that shouldn't really have an effect on, you know, on the performance in the game because it's not that multiplayer. Okay, so here, that's kind of how we're going to have beacons set up, right, on both sides. Um, I'll put speed beacon ones in there for now. And then I'll just blueprint the rest. And then that way when we pick up more, we can put down more. Okay, and let's see. If I add one more, is that gonna hit that machine? Yes, it is. All right. So that's gonna be our beacon setup for this. Thirty-nine beacons per side. So now we have to feed it. Uh, we have to feed it red belts of copper and then blue belts of circuits and plastic. And I've got one, two, three, four of each. Okay, so how do we want to do this? I wonder if. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I can do... Maybe I can do something like this to feed the other side. Or maybe I should just make them blue. Because if I use a blue underground, I can get all the way across. And then I can get at least two side by side feeding in from one side. If I upgrade those to blue belts, 
Well, I could always just use blue undergrounds and keep the belts red. I think I'll do that because red belts, the red belts are enough. All right. So that'll feed in like so. Okay. Yeah. Let's upgrade these to uh, the tier three assemblers. And we'll put productivity modules in those. And I'll just start at the bottom and work my way up as I get more and more modules. All right, so I'm short. <clears throat> eight modules for productivity. All right. So yeah, let's finish hooking these up. Three and four. that there we go all right and I'm gonna make I'm gonna make room here for the um, let's see let's see what's cheaper one blue or three red 257 iron I guess it's pretty close. All right, so I'll bridge this gap with a blue. And when it comes to the blue belts, I'll try to I'll try to use the the full length whenever possible. And then here, I will use undergrounds since that is far cheaper than two reds are much less expensive than one blue well maybe not much less but enough enough less that it's worth doing if you're concerned about resources um, <clears throat> and we don't need to be terribly concerned about resources because we're making lots of everything, but, um, but I always like to do things in the most efficient way that I can. Okay. So we've got four of these things. So I think what we could do is feed one belt from one belt from each up here to join with those. So I'll, I'll side load these with red belts. Okay, so we can have, where are my red ones? Here we go. So we can put red mini loaders on our outputs here. And then we're going to go to a balancer. Actually, we can do it right there. Let's try to be compact. One, two. The four to four balancer is pretty much the only one that I've got memorized. All right, so we'll rotate that belt. That one goes there. Right, and we're using the balancer so that we don't have to worry about, so that we don't have to worry about these silos ending up with 
unequal amounts of stuff in them. Okay, uh, so what's cheaper? Two red belts or one blue? Two reds, okay. So then what we can do is, let's see, I'll just take the blues to right there. All right, somebody's somebody's calling on the phone, which is awesome. I always love to get phone calls when I'm making a video. Let's see. All right, there we go. And I'm sure it's a telemarketer. It always is. And that's why I generally don't bother answering the phone. <laughs> if it's somebody I know, they're going to call me on my cell phone usually. Okay, and then that'll be for the circuits. Um, all right, yeah, I think I'll... I'll run the plastic belts as close to the station as I can. And I'm going to need to get more red belts. I may have some in my train. I don't. Okay, let's go back and get some more red belts. And then we'll get this... Well, we'll get at least the production finished up in this episode and then... We'll need to make the uh, the collection station. All right, I picked up a few logistic bots somehow. All right, and then we'll get. Oh, well, let's see how we're doing on beacons. Ah, nice. How many more do I need? Uh, it was 39 per side, I think. So we need at least 40. Yeah, I'll take this many. All right, and I've got... I don't have any speed modules because those are going into... Where are my speed modules going? They must be, they must be getting used up over here. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, there's only, there's only 10 in there. So, all right. So I'll have to wait before I can get more speed modules. And it looks like we're out of red circuits. Oh, okay. Where are all my red circuits getting used up? What got used up up here? Okay, that was for science. Yeah, science is completely backed up, so that'll we'll start to see some beneficial effects of of that taking place. All right, I guess I won't have enough modules to uh, to get all the modules loaded in, but I'll at least be able to get the beacons put down. Like that. Okay. Yeah, then we can see that some of those are still waiting for modules. Which is fine. All right. Now, you can see why we need a lot of power. Because... The beacons, these beacons now are the largest consumer of electricity in the base. And we're only here in one area. And let's see. Yeah, and we're only using level one modules. Although I think the level three modules have the same, I think they have the same energy penalty. No, they do have a larger energy penalty. 
So it's 50% for the ones and 70% for the twos. So, yeah, so these, these use up a lot of energy. So once we start using these in, in large quantities, that's when we'll really need to scale up the, um, what do you call it? The electricity. Oops. All right. What do you want? Yeah, modules, I know. Okay, and this doesn't leave me enough room for my circuits. All right, so let's move this out by one, two, three, four. I'm going to move this out by four tiles. Use the bots. Okay. Okay, so now we have plastic, and then we just need to feed in the circuits. So for this part, I can just copy with a blueprint. So that's gonna be exactly the same. Okay, now let's see it working. Great. Seeing the productivity bonus is not huge right now, but it still helps. We got 16%. All right, so every, every six or so cycles, we'll get a free one. And that'll really add up when we start making lots of things with red circuits. So using using productivity modules is definitely definitely worth it when you're building a large base. In fact, you might even I don't know if I would say it's a must, but it's uh, I think it's a smart way to build things. Oh, wonderful. There we go. Uh oh. Okay, got a little bit of a problem here. Uh huh. Okay, I guess I didn't get all these connected properly. Whoops. Okay, we have a problem. I can get that there, but then, no, 
That's fine. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, this is fine, but I need to get this guy on the belt somehow. <sighs> okay. How am I going to do that? I don't have room. And this is putting out 11.6 per second. Let's see here. Yeah, 28.6 copper wire per second, which is just slightly more than what we can do with a single stack inserter. But we can replace those with an express loader. that way we have room to do that okay so this is I guess this is another one of those builds that you wouldn't be able to do vanilla there we go fine. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and just soak up a bunch of red circuits. And this will allow me to verify that first of all, that one blue belt is enough for all of this. Yeah, looks like we're starting to catch up. And then I'll take all these back to the main base and put them into the logistic network to use for making more modules. Yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, speaking of modules, I can finish these off. All right, so we've got productivity all around. Now we're just missing the, we're just missing the rest of the speed modules that we need. All right, so let's go ahead and take these back. I think we'll take the train uh, and then we're gonna call it a day. Um, <clears throat> now I'll set up the loading station. I think I will do that offline uh, cause that's, that's nothing new. You've seen me do that many times. Um, and in terms of this performance issue that I'm having, I think I may consider getting rid of the Nixie tubes and seeing if that helps. I think what I'll do is I'm going to disable the mod and I'll load the game and see if I notice any difference with Nixie tubes turned off. I'll, I won't save it. So that way, if I don't like it, I can bring the Nixie tubes back. Um, but it looks like that was one of the one of the major offenders. I mean, it's not the biggest one, so maybe, maybe it's not such a huge impact. I don't know. I'll have to do some, some research. Uh, and again, if you guys, if you guys know what I should be looking at to help performance, uh, please let me know. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.